Hello everyone, last night for whatever reason I had a dream I was making this video, so idea just popped into my head during sleep and now we're gonna do it for real. We're gonna do an old school obscure lore video in which we will talk about the dark portal, more specifically the hooded figures standing next to the dark portal. Who are they? What's up with the snake on top of the portal on Azeroth's side and the dragon on the Outland side? The Dark Portal is arguably the most important part of Warcraft lore as without it the Horde wouldn't be a thing. To show how important it is, it appeared on the login screen of vanilla World of Warcraft and two World of Warcraft expansions, the Burning Crusade right after vanilla and then again in Warlords of Draenor a bit later. We've been looking at this thing for a whole lot of time, but have you ever wondered who these dudes are? What exactly influenced whoever made these portals to put two hooded figures on their sides? The first major setback is that we don't actually know who constructed the portal's frames. We know who opened the rifts, yes, but we don't know who actually constructed the frames of the dark portal. In the VOD cinematic we can see that it's indeed being in construction, so it's not like warlock portals where when you summon them from the twisting nether, they already have their frame and everything. Let's go back to some lore. The dark portal frame we know now wasn't always the way it is today. Back in the first war and in the second war it used to look totally different on both Azeroth and Draenor. We can see Azeroth's design in the TBC dungeon Black Morass where it uses the same design used in Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness and its expansion Beyond the Dark Portal. On Draenor's side it had some runes around it but a very simplistic look to the one we have today. The frames both got wrecked during the second war so that's why today they are different. The cinematic I'm about to show you is the ending of Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness or more accurately the intro for Beyond the Dark Portal where it's very very dramatically narrated. The mage you see casting the spell is none other than Khadgar. Now I have to go change my robes. Thanks. This is just at the end of the campaign where Khadgar is closing the portal but there's a twist at the end, just watch it, it's lovely. The orcish hordes lay vanquished as the triumphant armies of the alliance stood vigil over the evil gateway that had brought the orcs into Azeroth. upon the arcane powers of the archwizard Khadgar, the fury of the earth and skies were unleashed upon the dark portal to destroy it once and for all. As the blinding light dimmed, an eerie glow fell across the black morass. For though the portal was destroyed, the rift that joined these worlds at war yet remained. So as you could see, the frame may have been destroyed, but the rift still remained. This is what let the orcs come through again after the war on Azeroth's front was finished. Ner'zhul, the then war chief of the Horde, had plans to make countless other portals to countless other worlds to invade them. I honestly don't know how he thought that was a good idea, having been so badly beaten during the second war. For this he needed some artifacts that he could find only on Azeroth. Anyways, for whatever reason somehow the frame of the portal on Azeroth's side was reconstructed and it looked exactly like the way it did before. So the orcs pours through and to keep a long story short, a group of heroes that you see whenever you enter Stormwind, led by Khadgar, went through the dark portal to stop Ner'zhul and the orcs from ever pulling stuff like this again, effectively stopping them for good. They chased Ner'zhul around Jenner for a bit and they finally catch him at the top of the Black Temple, where he attempts to open many portals, so the whole place goes haywire from so many energies and the whole place is on the verge of destruction. Seeing as the whole place is gonna go boom boom, Khadgar and his forces decide to stay behind on Draenor to close the portal as to make sure the destruction doesn't reach Azeroth as well. So Khadgar and co race to the dark portal and Khadgar manages to destroy it for good with the Book of Medivh and the Skull of Gul'dan. 
how the skull of Gul'dan ended up back on Azeroth, its whole journey around World of Warcraft is a long topic and is for another video, but for the purposes of this video it got back to Azeroth along with the Book of Medivh by a griffin rider who at the very last minute made the trip. Now presumably this is what destroyed the portals on both sides. See, this is where the blank spot is though. We don't know how the portals on either side got constructed, the new ones, the ones with uh, hooded figures. The dark portal we see in vanilla World of Warcraft has this design and this design was first introduced in Warcraft 3, but not for the dark portal. There were these four dimensional gateways that were used by the Legion on Outland to bring more demons to it. And these were left off from when Ner'zhul wanted to open a bunch of portals to other worlds. In the Burning Crusade there are three dimensional gateways just like these, but they are not exactly the same ones we see in Warcraft 3. This is confirmed in Illidan book by William King. The three portals on the Outland side that we can see in the Burning Crusade do use the old dimensional gateway frame that we could see in Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2 and later in the Black Morass dungeon. Now what's the reason for these gateways to look different? Well, honestly, we don't have to think that much about it. Maybe they used the Dimensional Gateway model in World of Warcraft Vanilla to make the Dark Portal and then they wanted it to be unique and special, different to the other Dimensional Gateways, so they just retconned all the Dimensional Gateways on Draenor to look like the Warcraft 1 era Dark Portals. Or maybe there is a deeper reason for this that we will discuss later about these hooded figures and what they could represent in the Warcraft universe. Between Warcraft 2 and World of Warcraft, someone rebuilt both portal frames. The rift remained dormant and it was later during TBC that it was opened by Kazakh, but the actual frames somehow appeared on both sides. There are three options that kinda make sense and you can pick whichever one you like. Option number one, some orcs constructed the frames on both sides at some point, somehow not being stopped by either humans at the Nendergard keep in Azeroth nor on our hold in Outland. They somehow knew to make it look exactly, or at least almost exactly the same on both sides and the depictions on the left and right of the portal are supposed to be those of Medivh, the figure who initially led them through to this new world called Azeroth. Option number two, those same orcs constructed the dark portal on both sides but didn't have Medivh in mind but actually the death knights from Warcraft 2. The big hooded figures maybe as some sort of an homage to the glory days of the orcish horde. Option number three and this is probably it, the legion constructed these portal frames to use them in TBC for opening the dark portal. The reason for the hooded figures, to look cool, rule of cool as they say. The big Ouroboros snake on top of the dark portal could also be added to look cool. On the outland side there's a dragon atop the thing. If there is a dragon this could not be the retconned look of the portal from earliest RTS games as the orcs didn't even know what the dragons were until the second war. Now these three options make sense and one of them has to be it unless it's this option 4 which I made up and is pure speculation something beyond the cosmology chart. So Eon has a cost us. The game director for World of Warcraft has stated that the cosmology chart isn't complete and that there are more layers above the ones we know of today. Maybe there are some sort of higher beings that are only known to the likes of Sargeras and the more higher powers in the Warcraft universe, such as those from the Pantheon of Death in the Shadowlands. Incidentally, in the Shadowlands, Oribos, the Eternal City, is named after Ouroboros the Snake and also features the snake on many, many different places. Could it be a coincidence that the snake also appears on the Dark Portal? Maybe, maybe not. I say this to tie into the option number 3, where the Legion created these hooded figure statues. The Dark Portal would not be the only place you can find something like this. They have also appeared in Duskwood, there are some floating around Nagrand, there is one being excavated in Shadowmoon Valley in Varlos of Draenor. The hooded figures also make a surprise appearance in the concept art for Targast if you zoom in and look closely. There is even a dreadlord seemingly worshipping one of these things in the Titan Scar in Blasted Lands. And we all know that the dreadlords don't seem to be aligned with anyone except death. But do we know their true allegiances with death at all? Maybe they are more tied to this higher being that is represented as a hooded figure throughout World of Warcraft. By all of this I am sure the orcs didn't even make these things. I'm not even sure that the legion made them at all. 
While I may be good saying is that the statues could depict something even higher on the cosmology chart made by someone unknown we have yet to see and is one of the not yet explored mysteries of World of Warcraft lore. And now we get to the main point of this video, the Eternal Travelers. They also have a hood, glowing eyes and they do have the Oribus symbol stamped on their chest. Could the Eternal Travelers and the hooded statues be the same person? We can only see the Eternal Travelers a little bit while doing the quest for their transmog set, but we have no clue who or what they are. They could be something that transcends even the Shadowlands, Death and the whole cosmology chart. Enough so that they earn the respect of Legion maybe, or maybe even the Jailer considering the hooded figure in the concept art for Torghast. We still didn't see this hooded figure in game, but we might. I don't think they are strictly tied to the Shadowlands though, I believe they can traverse every realm of existence and that we will certainly find more about them in the future expansions or maybe even in the Shadowlands at a later patch. So that's basically what I think. I think the Eternal Travelers could be the Hooded Figures or maybe some servants of whatever the Hooded Figures represent. We have yet to see more of these Eternal Travelers and I hope to see them soon because we're finally getting some new mysteries to explore. Sometimes it feels like Azeroth doesn't have any mysteries at all, and maybe it doesn't, but the universe at large does. For now, that's it for me. Thank you to all my Warcraft historians for watching. I hope you liked the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.